Hello, I'm Tim Dunn and today I've been sent on a mission by Network Rail to come down here to South East London to look at a station that's no longer here. Now, why are we doing that? It's because a little bit ago I came down here to film a television programme called The Architecture of the Railways Built and we came down here to look at this very special station and we couldn't get inside it but today we can. So now I'm going to show you why it's special and how we're going to get inside. It might seem a little odd, perhaps, that a railway should be up there on a viaduct when this is such a flat area and end in what would in 1836 have been mainly fields, quite away from the centre of London. Well, that's because the London and Greenwich Railway Company had to raise its tracks way above the streets. Imagine the number of level crossings through London instead. They also let sightseers walk along the route, for a fee of course, and then let the arches out to businesses, and many still rent them today. But that little old Spa Road terminus was pulled down though, and a new version was constructed into the viaduct about 100 metres south. Today, I've got special access that I couldn't get before. We're going to go into the inside of the second Spa Road terminus site, just over the road. Now, because this is a restricted site, Network Rail has brought along for me some fabulous looking PPE for me to change it to. Ta-da! How easy was that? Fantastic. And look who it is. It's my old friend Chris Denham Hello. from the Steamer Network Rail. Shall we go and explore? <laughs> Lovely stuff. Let's go. So this is this is the access point to right. Spa Road, which our operations managers and uh, engineers etc. used to get onto the track up above, uh, and there was once a station. Would you like to um, to do the honours? Would I? Absolutely. So there you uh, go. The key is yours. Right. Okay. Here we go. How's that going? A look at that. Oh wow. Okay. We're in. <laughs> <laughs> this is phenomenal. I hear the trains upstairs rumbling away. But what exactly is this, Chris? Well, once upon a time, this is how you would have caught a train from Spa Road. There's a little staircase just that side that goes up to the coastbound platform, or what's left of it. The coastbound platform. I know, exactly. <laughs> For your trips uh, to your bathing machine in Ramsgate. Um, or, or there's another staircase around the corner, which we still use today uh, for accessing the railway on the viaduct. Right, this is all still here, though. So yes. I'm seeing here these wonderful sort of tiled bricks you've got here that rounded off. The, this has been designed for public access, hasn't it? Yes, so that's right. That's what it was for. This is how the public would access the railway. But since the First World War, it hasn't been used for that at all. Uh, and instead, what we use it for is getting up onto the railway, because as you can imagine, uh, getting uh, uh, people and machinery up on those tracks is not easy. Uh, so that's what we use it for. I'm intrigued. Let's go a little further, shall we? Yeah, sure. Now look at that up there, I, I can see this, these stairs over the top, so is that the old platform access? Yes, that's right, and there is part of the old platform up there still, uh, an old island platform. Not much, um, <laughs> but a little bit of it. How um, interesting. But it's mostly um, used now for accessing the railway, because as you can imagine, um, this isn't the easiest bit of track to gain access to. Uh, so the staircase we've got here, and we've also got a lift just there, uh, which we use for lifting sort of you know, bales of, uh, of cable uh, and other bits of material at the top um, and then up on the surface as well we've got little uh, what we call relocatable equipment buildings or that REDs <laughs> um, full of signalling equipment so uh, so it once was a station but that was over a hundred years ago now it's uh, a really important part of the railway in a different way absolutely I, I, I come here because I like the history of these things yeah. of course I, I don't know about the past but but Network Rail of course is a custodian of this stuff and it looks after it but this is infrastructure it's not a museum is it and it's about the future and how you use these old structures to support now, millions of commuters every year going to London Bridge. Oh, there is a phenomenal number of trains that run in and out of London Bridge every day. In the peak time, even now, post-Covid, you're looking at getting on for 80 trains an hour. Wow. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is a living, breathing railway. It's really up to the minute. You've got some of the most modern signalling equipment in the world in use up there. And yet, underneath it, um, Spa Road Station. Now, I can see some tantalising looking steps over there, and if you know what I'm like, <laughs> I think you do, can we go and have a look? No one should be as excited by steps. Than, <laughs> I love steps. I expect it to be, yeah. <laughs> 
This is it. <laughs> this is the exciting stairway to heaven. With trains which... rumbling over the top yeah, of us. Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, that's a live railway up there, which okay. means you and I are not able to go for a mooch. Uh, okay. But we have taken some shots to innovate this film and make it a little bit more visually exciting. <laughs> now, we're standing here in this wonderful space. Now, tell me, yeah. Chris, you're using it for maintenance, but why don't you reopen this station and get people coming in from out there? So there's a few stations like this. Uh, there's uh, Southwark Park down there, which we yes. uncovered while we were building the Bermondsey Dive Under. I remember and then that. on the uh, yeah, very young I was then too. And then on the Elephant and Castle one, there's there's Camberwell and Walworth Road. Um, they're, but they're all stations on viaducts right into the, uh, the centre of London. Now is that because you, you you can't build platforms out the side of viaducts or, 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 or what? So the reason that I th I think they are very unlikely to come back is it's not just building on viaducts. It's you know you probably have to take them down and put a bridge in. Like we did at London Bridge. It's expensive, trying to make them accessible is very difficult. And also, look at where they are. We're, we're literally um, a minute outside London Bridge. So, trains coming in from the coast are full already. Yeah. You're adding two minutes or more to their journey times to stop here. Cool. Trying to fit a 12 car platform up there is not going to be easy either. So, and there's good transport links as well uh, for yeah. the people who live around here. So, on balance, I think it's very unlikely you'll see the likes of Spa Road coming back. See, that's very interesting, isn't it? Because it isn't just railways coming into this part of town now. We've got, you know, trams came along and buses came along. Yeah. The buses are still here and our transport needs have changed. So, actually, we've got the infrastructure to replace this station. It isn't railways, it happens to be buses instead. Yeah, that's right. And, and it was trams that really sort of sealed the, uh, sealed the fate of this station in Southwark Park. It was the trams that took away all the traffic. Uh, and ironically, the trams uh, disappeared, but railway's still here, Tim. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, you've worked on the railway for many, many years, yes. and I've known you for years on the railway, but what do you love about uh, working on this particular bit of railway? Uh, it's the absolute contrast between the really modern railway up there, where we run up to 80 trains an hour in peak times uh, on, on brand new trains, millions of people every day, and yet underneath it all is London's first railway, the original railway, uh, with all that history going back all that way. It's absolutely mad. Well, thank you so much for showing us all around this building because I've never had a chance to do this. I've lived nearby for years and this has been tremendous access. Ah, oh, mate, it's been brilliant. Thank you so much for coming. Now, I came here early in the year to film an episode of UK TV's documentary series, The Architecture the Railways Built. In it, we tell the whole story of this remarkable railway. And as I'm doing this voiceover, I should probably give my show a bit of promotion. So incidentally, you can stream it for free on UK TV Play. That's the uh, <coughs> architecture the railways built. <coughs> Thanks.